In the last tutorial, we covered using contact form 7 and simply static as a form connection to offload form submissions to an external webhook. In this tutorial, we're creating a new form connection, but this time we embed the form directly into your static website. What I've done in terms of preparation is I created another contact page and I also set up a new form inside of contact form 7. So let's get started. Switch to Simply Static Forms and create a new contact form. We call it Contact Form 2. And this time we assume that our WordPress installation is running on a web server. So we choose Web Hosting and Embed Form. As before, we choose Contact Form 7 and we have to find our contact from 7 ID. So let's switch back to the front end. Go to contact 2 and open the, up the inspector controls. Similar to before, we're looking for the div container with the class WPCF7 and copy the ID. Switch back to your admin. Add the form ID. Before we can finish up the configuration, we need the shortcode of the form. So switch to contact, contact forms, and copy the shortcode of our contact form too. Add the shortcode in the settings. We can publish the configuration now. You also have the option to add custom CSS. Everything added here is only be used inside of the embedded version of your contact form. This can be useful to hide cookie consent or pop-ups on your embedded form. So now that we have done with the configuration, we head over to simply static generate and regenerate our static site. The export is finished now. So now we can switch back to our static website and take a look at the results. We are now back on our static website. We visited contact2, contact2 is the headline, and this is our contact form directly embedded from our WordPress website. You can also double check it by inspecting the form and you will notice instead of embedding the form directly, it's now embedded as an iframe. We make sure it works in a responsive setting as well as on your desktop and you can fully customize it with custom CSS.